Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The topic of this video is engine cooling systems. To ensure proper operation of an engine, it is necessary to maintain a consistent temperature of the engine. The engine cooling system ensures proper engine operation by maintaining a constant temperature of the engine coolant. The cooling system consists of a coolant pump, coolant passages in the cylinder block and cylinder head, thermostat, radiator pressure cap, and radiator. The heated coolant in the engine is cooled by the radiator and then returned to the engine. The coolant is circulated by the coolant pump. The thermostat controls the coolant temperature while the radiator cap regulates the coolant pressure. When the engine is cool, the thermostat closes the passage to the radiator and the coolant circulates through the engine via the bypass passage. This operation allows for a shorter engine warm-up period. When the coolant temperature reaches a certain level, the thermostat opens, allowing the coolant to flow into the radiator. The coolant is cooled in the radiator and then it is returned to the engine by the coolant pump. Depending on the engine type, the thermostat is typically set to begin opening at temperatures ranging from 76.5 to 88 degrees Celsius. For automotive engines, a wax pellet type thermostat is commonly used. When the engine is cool, the piston and valve are pushed up by the return spring, and the coolant passage is closed. Inside the piston, there is wax, rubber, and a stud that is fixed to the thermostat case. When the coolant temperature around the piston rises, the wax inside the piston expands and pushes out the stud. However, since the stud is fixed, the piston moves downward. As a result, the valve opens, and the coolant passage is opened, allowing the coolant to flow into the radiator. In recent years, some types of engine adopt electronic control thermostat, known as MCT, MAP Controlled Thermostat. MCT features a heating cartridge within the piston. In addition to control based on coolant temperature, it electrically heats the wax for valve control. The location of the thermostat in the cooling circuit is either at the coolant outlet or inlet of the engine. First, let's take a look at the temperature changes of the outlet side thermostat. When the coolant temperature reaches the specified value after the engine starts, the thermostat opens, allowing the coolant to flow into the radiator. Once the cooled coolant returns to the engine from the radiator, the temperature of the coolant inside the engine decreases, causing the thermostat to close again. When the coolant temperature rises again, the thermostat opens, allowing the coolant to flow into the radiator. As the coolant is cooled in the radiator, the temperature inside the engine decreases, leading to the closure of the thermostat once more. Due to the repetition of this cycle, it takes time for the engine to warm up. On the other hand, in case of the thermostat is positioned at the coolant inlet, the thermostat responds to the temperature of the coolant that has passed through the radiator. As a result, the thermostat does not undergo repeated opening and closing. In modern engines, which are under strict regulations regarding exhaust emissions and fuel efficiency, inlet side thermostats are commonly adopted to minimize warm up time. However, this type has the disadvantage of making it difficult to bleed out air trapped in the cooling circuit. When the coolant boils, bubbles are generated, leading to a decrease in pump efficiency and the thermal conductivity of the coolant, resulting in overheating. To prevent this phenomenon, the system increases the pressure within the circuit to raise the boiling point of the coolant. The radiator pressure cap controls coolant pressure. The radiator pressure cap is attached at the top of the radiator and is equipped with a pressure valve and a vacuum valve internally. Because the cooling circuit is sealed, when the coolant heats up and expands, the pressure increases. When the coolant pressure reaches the specified value, the pressure valve is pushed up, allowing the coolant to flow into the reservoir tank, preventing the pressure within the cooling circuit from rising beyond a certain level. After the engine is stopped, the coolant temperature decreases, causing a reduction in volume and a drop in pressure. Subsequently, the pressure valve closes, the vacuum valve opens, and coolant is returned from the reservoir tank to the cooling circuit. 
Typically, the opening pressure of the radiator pressure cap is around 0.9 to 1.1 kg per square centimeter, and this information is stamped or printed on the top surface of the cap. Full sealed cooling circuit systems are also adopted, primarily in European cars. The radiator pressure cap is attached on the expansion tank, and the inside of the tank is pressurized similarly to the cooling circuit. The expanded volume of the coolant is absorbed by the air in the expansion tank. There are advantages, such as easy removal of air trapped into the circuit, minimal loss of coolant, and reduced coolant degradation as it is not exposed to the atmosphere. On the other hand, because pressure is applied to the plastic expansion tank, there is a risk of coolant leakage due to deterioration over time. The coolant pump is rotated by the crankshaft through a belt. Some types of engines in strong hybrid vehicles employ an electric coolant pump to circulate coolant even when the engine is stopped. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.